Hello everyone and welcome to a new video tutorial from Expand Card. In this tutorial I will show you how you can customize your theme or your template to match your exact business identity and to match the type of your products. So let's start and see how we can easily do this. After you logged into your store backend at Expand Card, just click at Design and Templates to select the best template that match you the type of your business. You'll find here at the right a categories for the templates. These categories are, are just for guide purpose. If a template is in fashion, this doesn't mean that you cannot use it to sell electronics, for example. These are just a guide categories. So I will browse the templates and pick the one that I feel that it will be the best for my business. So here I have this uh, template, uh, it's called well done, looks very good, so I will apply it. It will take just a few seconds, that, uh, then you will find the template applied. Now I have my template, my new template applied, so I will click at the storefront to check the store front end and see how it looks. And here we go, a very, very beautiful template that has everything I might think about. So now let's see how I can customize this template to match my exact business need. I will, and I will start by adding my logo. To customize the template, you just go to design and click at customize template. Using this editor, you will be able to customize each and every single part of your template to be exactly like what you want. So let's have a look and see how. As we mentioned, I will start by adding my logo. So to add the logo, I will click at header. Then I will click at store logo. And here you will find two versions, two versions of your logo. One for the desktop browsing and the other one is for the mobile browsing. For this video purpose, I will just add the desktop one. I will click simply a browse and bring the logo from your laptop. But, I but here I have it already uploaded. So I will just click at, at the logo and here we go, we have the logo here. So I will simply click on the, the save button and see, here we go. I have here the logo applied to my template. Very simple, yeah. So the next step now is to customize my template colors to match this logo, which is absolutely gonna be your business identity. So let's see how we can easily do this. We'll simply go back in the, the, at the editor and click at styling and click then click at colors. And from here, you can change your template colors. So simply by clicking at the, the color icon here, you, you will find this color palette. Uh, in which you can choose any color that you want and if you have your uh, your logo color codes so you can of course simply add the color code just right here and then I will click at the save button and as you can see the color has been changed So now I have here the header, the footer background and the fixed header background. So let's change the color of these uh, sections as well with my identity. So I will use this color for the footer coloring and I will use this one for the header to make a very good match. And let's see. Wow, that's exactly what I want. Now I have my online store design matching my business identity. So let's see how we can edit the banners right here and edit the other section and edit as well the other section that you can find here at the template. So let's start with the slideshow. To change the slideshow banners, I will simply click at the main content, then click at slideshow and we'll click at slide one. You have here the main title, a subtitle, a brief text, and a button text, and of course a button link. And now I will change. The, I will start by changing the banner itself. So I will click at browse and bring the banner I would like to add. Let's see if I would like to add this one, for example. And as you can see, the image I uploaded I already have a, the text that I want. So I don't need these texts right here. So I will simply remove it. But I will keep the shop now button and I will add a link to it. Assuming that the purpose of this slide banner that I have just uploaded is to promote the fashion category at my online store. So I have just picked the link for this category and I will simply paste it here. You can paste the whole link or just paste the part after the word index. And then I will click at the save button. And here we go, we have the banner changed already. So 
let's go back to the store front end so as you can see now these that the banners has not the changes that i have just applied to my template has not been yet published to my online store which is a great feature that enable you to make all the edits you want and once you are done you can simply click the publish button and everything will be online for everyone as you can see here we have it already published i will go back to my store and refresh the page wow all the changes has been applied and now it's available for everyone and the button that I have just added is already here and it sent my clients to the category that I want very cool isn't it so now let's see if you would like to change one of these sections that you can find here displaying products at your store front end so let's see how we can change one of these sections as an example for example, I would like to change this latest product section to another kind of section like a featured product for example. So to do this I will simply click at the main content and I will click at the product slider and as you can see you can find here the type of products that you can add. So it's already displaying the latest product automatically so you can choose it, you can change it to uh, to, to automatically show the best-selling product or a special product those are the products that you already have added discounts to it for example if I click a special product it will simply be added or you can also select an exact category to show products from them or select an exact products from your online store to be shown at this section and the same thing you can do with all the sections at your store so let's apply this change and see what's gonna happen and here we go we have the section product change it to another section but we still have here the name is as latest product and of course I can simply change this to anything I want like special offers and click on the save button that's it I have it already changed so as you can see, you can easily change every single part of your online store design by yourself without the need of any technical experience. So go ahead and start now and build your online store. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorials.